Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a Raptor Zone Saturn Arc collaboration. It's been a while since my friend and I collaborated together on Martian anomalies. These are in our Gaia Planitia and they look like strange ruins or structures. So let's get cracking on. The high-rise photograph we're looking at here is called Sinuous Ridges in our Gaia region. Acquired on the 6th of October 2007 at uh, a low res of 50.6 centimeters per pixel. I'm going to show you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just over a gigabyte in size. There's a look at the low res black and white, and the anomalies my friend found are in this region of this ridge. There it is a little closer, and we'll have a look at those in the video. And then there's this very weird dust devil activity in the southern part of this region. So the site is located in Argaia Planitia, 55.05 degrees south, 318.51 degrees east. And it's against this ridge line over here. I downloaded the other high-rise photographs in this region as well. I'll be checking those out in the near future. We'll also have a look at some of the other anomalies near the site. The first anomaly right there, folks, it's about 10 meters long. It's got this weird design to it. I had to enhance it slightly using the burn tool in Photoshop. The contrast on this photograph is way down and the brightness way up. I don't know what they try to do. You have rotated it 90 degrees clockwise. Give you a good idea of what this looks like. Check out the geometry of this thing. It looks like it's hollow underneath the structure. We're seeing grids or pipes sticking out through these openings. Check out the three very symmetrical and geometric shapes over here. Look at the uniform distance between those as well. And then we've got strange parts around this structure. Check out this piece. It's got these two dark spots on each side of this uh, looks like a delta shaped object and that will be about six meters long it's got this part on the top it looks like it could be open there as well on the right hand side then there's a block or two lying here on the right hand side of this structure so there it is up close it breaks up a bit but you can make out the outline of what looks like either a ruin old structure or maybe even some type of technology the three parts over here is a dead giveaway that this might be of intelligent design folks next anomaly are right there folks this is about 12 meters long and it's got two rectangular blocks next to one another over there. Check out the straight edges and right angles to these pieces. We've got multiple layers going on here, folks. Looks like some type of structure as well. The two similar rectangular parts parallel to one another there. It's very unusual as well. And we're looking at that part, it's about 14 meters long. Check out the straight edge and right angle there, as well as there, folks. And then the strange raised triangular part on the top. It reminds me of this one that I showed quite recently, also in the southern mid-latitudes, in an area called Biancini. Check out the straight edges right angles there and then this 
small triangular part on the top, very similar to what's going on here. Then we're looking at this strange structured item consisting of multiple layers and that whole structure there is about 20 to 25 meters across. There's a close-up. Check out the multiple right angles to these pieces, folks. And then it looks like there's a hole in uh, this part over there with this part sticking out of the hole. It's got a strange curvature to it as well. So I'm not sure what we're looking at here, guys and girls. And we're looking at that part. It's about 10 by 12 meters in size. It's got straight edges to it, right angles, slightly curved up here on the one side. And then it looks like it's got two slots on the top over there, parallel with this one side. It reminds me of another piece that also featured recently in Cronius Mons, also down in the southern mid latitudes, where we've got the larger part on the one side, the long narrow part on the right, with these two slots on the top. Very similar to one another as well. Right, then we're looking at some geometry and a pattern going on here. The bottom piece over there is about 12 meters wide. Check out the three similar parts next to one another in a row there. That pattern seems to be repeated down at the bottom. It's got like a grid design to it. And then this strange part got this conical part sticking out and then the small dots around it. Check that out. And there's a block right there at the top left. Straight edges, right angle and then it seems to have a bevel on it as well. Strange part over here to the right this piece sticking out there. All right, let's go down to Argaia Planitia and to that site we just analyzed. As I said, it's up against this, what looks like a small hill or mountainside. The anomalies, just briefly, for summary, just check those out. It's a pity the photograph wasn't taken at 25 centimeters per pixel. We'd get a lot better detail, especially on this item. Looks like some type of tech to me. All credit to my friend Saturn Arc for discovering those. As I say folks, I downloaded these photographs. It looks like there's rather strange anomalies in those too. Okay, then just down to the southeast, that site over there, check out the strange items I discovered here. Yeah. Got like a dome shaped structure, got a step on the one side, check that out. Looks like we have an opening over there to the bottom right, and this piece has got right angles to it as well. Part there seems to be broken off. And then uh, it's got a small hole in it right there, folks. We've got a lot of these megalithic slabs or blocks with smaller parts and then check out this one parallel with that one side. It's like a knob or protrusion that we find on the megaliths in South America. Now the conical part sticking out of the center of this object. And then the way these two blocks 
fit together is very intriguing. Look at the design over there. That gap between the two is about a meter and a half wide. You can imagine walking through there. What a sight that will be, right? And then let's look at one other site to the southwest. Megalithic blocks again, folks. Check out the ridge or bevel cut on this one, parallel with this one side. Straight edges and right angles to that. And then these strange, I don't know what to call these, like markers. Got three in a row, three in a row there. Over here, that pattern's repeated. It's almost like uh, we're looking at potential graves or cairns. That disc there is about 12 meters in diameter, guys. The way these have been arranged. And then this pattern is repeated again. Check that out. And then the usual suspects where we have the smaller parts or protrusions on those blocks. Check there again, we've got three in a row. Next to it, another three in a row. And then this strange part looks like some type of platform with a ramp on it and a small part in its center. We've seen similar ones like this in McMurdo Base. Looks like um, they've erected these platforms and they've got small structures on the top. Wonder if that pattern is repeated on Mars. And then this we've seen quite often on Mars as well, where we have two large objects next to each other, separated the straight gap and a small part that bridges that gap. Normally in the middle of the structure. Now we've got another disc and this one's got a dome spherical object next to it. And then more symmetry and geometry in the alignment of those boulders. Again, the usual suspects. That day looks like a little disc as well. And that will be small. That will be about a meter, meter and a half wide. And then uh, these blocks, very similar in size and shape. Next to one another in that row. It looks like that could have been a wall. Who knows? And then this pattern's also repeated. Three in a row, three in a row. Looks like these dovetail into one another. There we have similar blocks, guys. And again, seeing a similar one. See if I can find it quickly. Another trend that we see quite often on Mars. This looks like some type of foundation with the right angle to it.
Another one of the pumpkin seed plectrum shaped objects. Seen so many of those on Mars now as well. Once again, thank you to my friend Saturn Ock for sharing these with us. I hope you liked it. Just a quick word of condolence to everybody that knew Sarah Mitchell, who passed away recently. Really sad losing someone so young. So if you knew her, my heartfelt condolences to you and to the community. I hope that uh, her work continues on. I have volunteered my services to the group. Let's see if we can get her work and research out there for everyone to enjoy. So thanks again, folks. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.